I, I really understand why patients are concerned and the first thing I'd say to patients and what we try to sell, tell, tell patients is that even with the radiation dose concern, uh, for patients who need answers to diagnostic problems, the benefits of diagnostic imaging including CT far, far outweigh the risks from the radiation dose. That said, the concern is appropriate. Uh, at least in our practice, when I check with my clinical colleagues as to whether it has impacted the number of CT scans we perform, thus far the answer is no. We are getting questions, and both from referring physicians and patients, but once it's explained, uh, the exams go on and the exams yield useful information. I think it's fair to say, though, that the attention that's being paid to radiation dose has had the healthy uh, outcome of uh, causing the protocols to be looked at carefully and try to reduce the radiation dose as much as possible to the minimum needed to answer the question that's being asked. Well, you know, I've, I'm bullish about technology in general, and I think we need to invest in dual energy, in tomosynthesis, and advanced x-ray imaging methods. Uh, I personally don't think that they will make a huge inroad on the things that CT is uh, good at. Uh, there are questions for which the 3D information uh, that CT provides really is necessary. And even though tomosynthesis and dual energy are able to give you differential information of similar sort, I think they answer different, different questions. So I, I don't think that they will uh, make a huge impact on the number of CT studies. I think in cases where for whatever reason, they offer an additional benefit, for example, uh, that the exam is done upright, or um, for whatever reasons, the geometry is better for tomosynthesis than it would be for CT. Uh, I, I think that that's where those modalities should go, is, is play to their own strengths rather than attack CT at the things that CT is very strong at. So, as I said, I think that the concerns about radiation dose, it, it's important for all of us to pay attention to this. On the other hand, my own personal feeling is that uh, things right now, they, there's a hysteria associated with the concern of ra with radiation dose that I don't think is warranted. I think that if the medical imaging community hide from this issue, uh, that will make it look like, you know, we're trying to hide something. And instead, I think we need to be upfront about it and talk about radiation dose and talk about what we're doing to minimize it and also make sure that the real risks of radiation, uh, let, me, let me just say that, that the, the, we need to do good scientific research to really expl explain and understand what the real risks of radiation dose are because I think the fear associated currently with radiation dose is at, at the level bordering on hysteria. I think it's an excellent project. I really endorse it completely. I think it's had, as I said, the impact, especially initially in pediatric radiology, of reducing the radiation dose appropriately to levels that, that are the minimum needed uh, to answer the questions. I, I endorse those efforts completely. I think that they have addressed CT first, rightly so, because of the number of CT studies that are done and the high radiation dose associated with them. Uh, nuclear medicine is getting attention, fluoroscopy is getting attention. I, I think radiography will get attention, but since in general the, the exposures are lower, um, uh, perhaps it'll be last in line. On the other hand, the number of radiographic studies that are done is very, very high. It's still the number one diagnostic uh, imaging test. So I think we need to look at the population dose burden coming from these different exams. And from that perspective, radiography, I think, appropriately needs to be looked at.